Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Explorer 2 Reference 16570. You can see and you can purchase this pre-owned Rolex Explorer 2 on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to view our full sales listing for this watch with accessories included in the sale, high resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details for this Rolex Explorer 2. Now it's important to note that between 1988 when it debuted and the end of 2010 when it was discontinued, the reference 16570 underwent a number of evolutions, transitioning from tritium to luminova dial, from hollow end link bracelets to solid end link bracelets, and from cases with drilled holes or strap bracelet removal holes to solid holes. This example here is part of the Y series. So early 2003, in mid 2003, the transition to solid holes brought this watch into its final iteration. But many say that the presence of the holes is truer to the origin of the watch as a utility timepiece that should be easily swappable using a pin tool between a strap and a bracelet. So you get that flexibility here, nevertheless, with the deluxe solid end link bracelet. And on my wrist, it's the classic 40 millimeter pre-supercase Explorer 2, which is to say 40 millimeters across the round of the case from nine to three, not inclusive of the crown or crown guards. It's wonderfully slim, only 12 millimeters thick. You can easily slide it underneath a formal cuff or dress sleeve should you choose. And it does feature one evolution from the original in that we no longer measure the bracelet um, as a separate component, rather with the solid end links, the 47.5 millimeter lug to lug dimension becomes a more robust 51 millimeter span across the wrist as the solid end links now represent the outermost extremity on each side, so 51 millimeter span across the wrist. Nevertheless, the watch is lighter on the wrist and more compact, both physically and visually than the Supercase successor that debuted in 2011. You'll note that the bracelet, beautifully made and in excellent condition, has a nice elegant taper. It's the classic three-link oyster. It does feature hollow center links still, and it does still feature the stamped clasp that wouldn't go away completely until the debut of the 42 millimeter watch, but it retains outstanding condition. You can see this one still has the characteristic Rolex shipping sticker on the case back. The watch also features excellent definition. Everything that's polished Everything that's satin is exactly as it should be, and to factory spec. And you can see that this watch has a little bit of a, a lead elegance that the successor model does not have. It also has all the functionality that you'd expect, as it's still an Explorer 2 in the post-16550 generation, meaning everything since that transitional reference has the independent set second time zone. So you can, if you so desire, set the local hour time independent from the 24 hour hand with its red cue, and I'll demonstrate exactly how that works. Once you pull the crown out one increment, you have the ability to set the hour independently. On the original 1655, that was not the case. And you'll note that the independent hour hand also drives the date. Now the watch features the Rolex caliber 3185 31 joules bi-directional winding, about a 45 to 48 hour power reserve. It is a true dual time and it also features a full balance bridge with a free sprung balance for resistance to shock induced timing deviation. It features a Breguet overcoil hairspring, of course manufactured by Rolex, that endows it with resistance to positional or gravitationally induced timing deviation. Although the Explorer 2 is generally regarded as a cave explorer, prospector, or subterranean specialist's timepiece, nevertheless, it does have a twin lock crown which endows it with 100 meters of water resistance. And the watch has a smooth bi-directional winding system. So although it is a utility timepiece, it is refined on the wrist. You're not gonna get that Valju 7750 unidirectional wobble that many expect in the sports watch class. This watch is a bit of a bygone era in Rolex production. It has indisputable credentials as a tool watch. And yet with the finer hollow center link bracelet, the pre-super case lug profile, Many would say that this watch is a perfect blend of utility and upscale refinement. A lot of people who prefer traditional Rolex mentally end the Explorer series, the lineage, with this model. And if you're going to go, what a way to go. You can see and you can purchase this Rolex Explorer 2 16570 on our website.